Welcome to the Introduction to Social Media Marketing, a step-by-step -step guide to generating profits from social media marketing. Why is social media marketing profitable? First, because you can reach a very large amount of people. YouTube has over 1 billion views per day. Facebook has over 400 million users. MySpace has over 200 million users. And Twitter over 100 million users. Social media marketing is about interaction. This is important because people want to buy from people, not from companies. Businesses and companies are therefore spending more and more each year to create a personal contact through social media marketing. Social media marketing is the fastest way to market a company, website or product. What are the desired results? First, you're going to learn how to brand yourself and your business and products. You'll also see how to build a large fan base of potential clients and how to build a quality list of contacts. Most importantly, how to drive large amounts of traffic to your website. There are, however, some pitfalls. Hard selling. Nobody likes the hard sell. Trying to sell too soon. Some people make the mistake of selling with their first contacts through social media marketing. And spamming. This is also another major problem with social media marketing. Linked to spamming is the use of automated software. While using automated software can be advantageous at times, it can also be seen to create large amounts of spam and to put people off having contact with you or your company or your business. So this introductory course covers the following topics. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, MySpace, Dig, StumbleUpon, and finally a take action plan. Media marketing with Facebook. Facebook is extremely popular. More than 60% of Americans have a Facebook account. It's one of the fastest and easiest ways for you to build a fan base of people who know, like and trust you. You'll be able to create fan pages with unlimited numbers of fans. It's very viral. What you post in one moment can be on the pages of thousands of other users' Facebook pages in minutes. You're able to create updates that appear on thousands of pages at once. And it's extremely personal. So what is a profile and fan page? How can you set one up? Well, a profile or a fan page would contain a detailed description of who you are, what you have to offer, and how it can help people. It's the starting point in building a relationship with other Facebook users. It's important, therefore, to be personal, trustworthy, interesting and likeable. To do this, you can put up lots of personal pictures and videos of your holidays, of your friends, of your family. Mix those in with your business-related pictures and videos. Remember to be real and transparent and honest. This is what other users are looking for when they have interaction with you via Facebook. So how do you get friends and fans? The best way is to join related Facebook groups. Related because they're in your niche. Or related because they match your interests and hobbies. Or it could be that they're related to products and companies that you like. When you join those groups, get involved in the group discussions. Make sure that you leave lots of comments. Try to be as interactive as possible. Take note of and add the active users in your niche, especially those who have lots of friends. This will help your messages to be viral, to appear on their friends' pages. 
It's important, therefore, to get involved. Follow your newsfeed. It's one way of being able to check out what you're up to and what other people are up to. Then comment on the status of other users. Make sure your comments are interesting and opinionated. Make sure, at times, they're also controversial. It's important to comment and post on other people's walls. To comment and post on photos and videos. Tag anyone that you can. Make sure that you make good use of your status updates. And post links to things that you found interesting. All of this attracts more and more people to your profile page or your fan page. You'll want to do this at least three to five times every day. Building your fan base. Start off with your personal profile page and build at least 900 to 1000 friends. Then you're ready to create a fan page. After creating your fan page, you'll want to suggest it to your friends. And then you'll want to send your friends a message asking them to suggest your fan page to their friends. Building your brand on Facebook. Use Facebook ads to advertise your fan page or to advertise your own products or affiliate products. When selecting pictures, use those that are interesting and grab the attention. You can also interlink your other social media accounts, Twitter, MySpace, YouTube and so forth. Remember that to build your brand, you want to first build relationships with friends and fans before you start to sell to them. Don't sell too soon and don't hard sell. With Twitter. Twitter has millions of users and views every day. Twitter is quick and simple. The content is limited to 140 characters per post. Everything is up to date and in real time. You can link to other websites in your tweets. Setting up your Twitter profile. We recommend that you use your real name if at all possible. In other words, not something like Web Solution Guy 411. You want to be a real person to create real connections. When you create your bio, be funny and opinionated, even controversial, to grab the attention of fellow Twitters. Use a profile picture. When you create your picture, smile and look friendly and approachable. Follow real people. It's best to follow real people and not companies on Twitter. What can you tweet about? One of the great things that you can do on Twitter is to ask questions and post surveys that will create interaction with fellow users. You can of course post personal information, but make sure it's interesting and not boring. Talk about things that are hot topics, whatever's going on in the news. And you can bring to people's attention popular content from the web. Using dig.com is an excellent source to find topics. You can also retweet other interesting tweets. And post motivational quotes. But we recommend that you stay away from politics and religion. Showing your personality. As we said before, it's important to be opinionated, never just neutral. It's also important to develop your own Twitter style, your way of writing. But you'll want to be different from others so that you stand out and attract interested and similar people. If you can, be helpful and give value. Give advice and answer other people's questions. Also be entertaining and fun. And try to be the leader in your niche. Support followers' goals and offer them helpful advice on how to achieve them. Your first tweets. 
Before you start following anybody, we recommend that you make at least five tweets so that you're not totally boring, so that people won't find you a person who is just looking for followers. Make sure that your tweets give some sort of value and show some of your personality. Be funny if you can, and if you can't, find something funny to post about. Post something that's entertaining. And as we said before, stay away from politics and religion. Try not to talk about selling or making money in your first tweets. Building Twitter followers. Search twitter.com. You can search by your niche's keywords or search for targeted followers. You can follow others first and there is a rule of thumb that they'll usually follow you back. It's interesting and very worthwhile to follow the influential people in your niche. They'll give you lots of ideas on what to tweet about and you'll be able to connect to their users. Try to aim initially to follow between 50 to 70 people per day. And follow during Twitter's peak times, which will ensure that people follow you back faster. This is between 1 to 3 p.m. and between 6 to 10 p.m. It makes sure there is a higher acceptance rate. Effective Twitter marketing. You can use pictures in your tweets. They grab the attention of fellow Twitterers. Use symbols in your tweets. Whatever you can use to make your tweets stand out. Use numbers, lists and statistics. Point an arrow to your links. It will help your tweets to stand out when, they're, when your followers are looking at their newsfeed. And remember to compliment and comment on other people's tweets, reply to their questions, show an interest, interact with them. Ask questions yourself and be controversial. It's a very effective way to, to carry out your marketing on Twitter. And remember, just as with following uh, fellow users, you'll want to tweet at the peak times between 1 to 3 p.m. and 6 to 10 p.m. How can you encourage people to retweet your tweets? First, it's important to know what it is. Retweeting is a viral way of gaining more exposure. It's where you encourage somebody to post your tweet to their users. The first thing is to shrink your URLs to make them shorter. That makes it easier for somebody to retweet your post. It's important also to retweet other people's tweets and they'll often then retweet yours. If you have a really popular tweet message, direct message this to some of your most popular followers and ask them to retweet it for you. But make sure it's not selling. Make sure that you're providing some value. Building your business with Twitter. You'll want to direct your Twitter traffic to your website and blog, your Facebook fan page, your other social media pages, for example your MySpace page or your YouTube channel, articles and press releases that you've posted. Use your other social media pages to advertise your Twitter account and gain followers and advertise your Twitter account to your email list. Put it in your signatures. YouTube is the number one video sharing site. More than 53% of web traffic comes from YouTube. You can create your own YouTube channel. And YouTube enjoys over 1 billion views per day. It's the preferred way to receive information. One of the most popular methods of selling products today is using video sales letters. Creating videos. It's best to create short videos of one to two minutes. People today have a very short attention span. Definitely you want to keep your video below 10 minutes.
you can create your video by using a slideshow. You can create a video by using screen capture. You can use a software called Animoto. Or you can use resale rights videos. Your video content. It should always be entertaining. It's important to be yourself, to be real and show your personality. People will trust you, relate to you, and your videos will get a better response. Start by talking about the benefits. Always make sure that your videos have a call to action. How can you create your videos? What equipment do you need? A slideshow software? For example, Microsoft PowerPoint or Microsoft Publisher. ScreenFlow if you're using a Mac. Screen capture software. For example, Cam Studio, it's a free software. Camtasia, there is a 30 day free trial. The Jing project, it's free, but your videos can't be any longer than 5 minutes. Or Flipcam. You'll need a good microphone. Your YouTube channel. Add your favorite videos. This way, you don't have to upload much initially. Plus, they'll seem as though they're your videos. Make your channel seem active and popular. Subscribe to other related channels in your niche. How can you get viewers? Well, first, if your videos provide value and entertainment, make sure that you interact with other YouTube users. Leave comments on their videos. Make videos on hot topics in your niche. To find them, use Google Trends and Google Alerts. It's important never to be boring in your videos. You can automatically build a following using TubeToolbox.com. It's a way of sending out mass subscriber and friend requests. Get involved and stay social. You can make video responses to other popular videos. This will get you more exposure. You can also rate videos. People will often return the favor to you. So the higher your ratings, the more exposure you get. Join in other YouTube groups. Commenting, even though backlinks are no follow, will increase your ranking within YouTube. Send out friend requests through YouTube. Remember to be controversial and entertaining at the same time. Here are a few tips and tricks. Remember, use video responses to popular videos. Your response will be before the comments and people will notice them. You can borrow or steal the titles and tags of other popular videos. What happens when your video is posted with those tags and titles? Well, when people search for the other tags and titles, your video will also show up in the results. You can turn your videos into podcasts and submit those to dozens of directories. Distributing your videos. You can use a service called Tube Mogul. It's free. Or you can use a paid service like Traffic Geezer. These will generate social bookmarks. This will turn videos into podcasts and will submit to more than a hundred websites. You can distribute your videos within your other social networking site. MySpace is like Facebook. You can use MySpace to brand yourself. You can customize your template, another way of branding yourself. MySpace has a very high page rank of 9. What it means for you is that your links will carry extra link juice back to your selling web page. It has over 200 million users. MySpace includes a free blogging feature that currently Facebook doesn't have. 
And like Facebook, the profiles in MySpace are public, so you don't have to be logged in to see them. And the MySpace pages show up in search engine results with all of the content visible. Setting up your MySpace profile. In your profile you can promote and brand yourself and your products and business. But remember, as with all forms of social media marketing, don't hard sell. Include pictures of products and links back to your site. But remember to talk about yourself. People buy from people they like and trust, not from companies. Be transparent and real. Be yourself. Use the blog to talk about yourself, your website and what you're doing and what you're promoting. And make sure that you post lots of interesting pictures and videos, personal and business. Marketing on MySpace. Use your real name. It will help you to build credibility. And as you're doing so, and you're interacting with people, help them to find you easily. Search for people in your niche, or people who have similar interests to you, and add them as friends. Make sure that you get involved. Don't sit on the fence. Be an active member. Before you start to sell to people, build relationships with them. And when you're communicating with people, try to provide value. Use your MySpace page to promote special offers and to give away things. Comment and show interest in other people and what they're doing. Ask their opinions. Use subtlety with your selling. For example, hey, check out what I'm doing. Dig is a social bookmarking site, and it's free to sign up. It's all about content sharing. It has over 7 million users, and is a great way to promote your site by digging it. You can bookmark both your own sites, blogs, articles and videos, and let Dig users vote on them. How to market on Dig. Dig things in your niche that are similar to your own things. Don't only dig your own products and sites. That could look like a spammer, and you could be kicked out of the dig site. Dig different things, videos, blogs, articles. Make sure that you dig about 50% of your own sites and products, and 50% of other people's. Even though the links are no follow, they will still get you good direct traffic. Social media marketing with StumbleUpon. StumbleUpon is a social networking tool that allows you to find people with similar interests in your niche. People can then stumble your content. They can write reviews, send links for your content to their friends. The more reviews you have, the more views your site will get, and the higher you will appear in StumbleUpon, which will lead to more traffic. StumbleUpon allows you to build lots of high page-ranked backlinks. You can get more exposure for your content, your brand, your website, and whatever you're offering. And it's a great way to generate large, amount, large amounts of targeted traffic. Marketing on StumbleUpon. Put your very best content on StumbleUpon. Give away something for free, something of high value that people would usually have to pay for. For example, an ebook, a video course, a software, or an e-course. Build a readership, a list of people who follow you in your niche. The more targeted your niche, the higher the conversion rates are going to be. And when creating your posts, include a backlink to your site using your keywords. Building a fan base on StumbleUpon. To find people, you need to use your contacts from your email account. You can go to that tab in StumbleUpon where it says Find Your Friends on StumbleUpon. You can also search for people by country and city. To do that, go to Browse People. 
you can search by people's categories and interests. Then you can create a blog using StumbleUpon, fill out your profile and make a few posts before you start to add friends. Use StumbleExchange.com, do a review for somebody there and they'll do a review for you. More stumbles equals more traffic. Action with social media marketing. Create an action plan. First, list out all of the accounts that you want to create at the social media sites and create them. Second, find and join relevant groups in your niche. Third, find and add friends. Fourth, participate and interact. Make sure that your participation is interesting, opinionated and even at times controversial. Don't try to be somebody else. Be real. Be yourself. That way people will relate to you and they will start to like you and follow you. It's so important to build the relationships first before you start to sell. And don't try to hard sell people. Just include calls to action. Share plenty of good quality information. Even give things away for free. Build your brand and promote yourself and your products. As you do so, you'll build recognition. You will be the obvious choice for information, for products, for services in your niche. Build a fan base. Create a readership. What that will do is create targeted traffic to your site. Aim for quality and quantity.